Hi, let's talk about in real. You have a lot of questions about this class, it's a new class, and it is one of my favorite classes because you have very, very deep experiential labs. Um, you have also a lot of new techniques, so you can, I'm sure, uh, like this class. The I of in real is for interstitial fluid. This little space around the cells, you have glycaminoglycans and collagen and vesicles and free fluid and all kind of things, but it's very deep. It's a space between physical and non-physical. And we're gonna work with that very deep fluid in little spaces like the pleura, peritoneum, pericardium. We're gonna work with scar, with trauma, with viscera, with bones, sphenoid, occiput, coccyx. And it is something really, really deep that we're gonna experience there. It's a very deep foundation for our health and a space that's very, very important to go um, um, to really help people. The next step is when we're going to make this touch even more magical by combining the interstitial fluid with the fascia or the LFR if you learn lympho fascia release with interstitial fluid and it's going to be very, very special. Then you ask me to talk about antimatter. It's another part of um, reality, you know, it's one of the most expensive substances in the universe, like 2,700 trillions per gram, but it's, it's real and it's another dimension that we need to explore sometime to go back to this reality and help this reality. So we're going to try to go there and if you can't, we can't, but it is like, you know, the, the photo used to have this negative and sometimes you see more stuff in the negative, you have more contrast in different things. So. It's a very deep space, like a, a space with unlimited potentiality, infinite potentiality if you want. And we're going to address whatever in this space we can help and come back into this reality. So this is something we're going to explore with you. The end of InReal is a notochord. It's like a, almost a cartilage. Um, it's a long rod that appears around the 16th or 17th day uh, in the embryo. And this is very important because it organizes the skeleton, it is it's, it's organized and induces the central nervous system, the spinal cord, the brain, but also it helps the formation of viscera like the pancreas and help give identity to veins and arteries. So we're going to use that notochord for emotional stuff, for spiritual, spiritual stuff with the, the, the hippocampus. We're going to use it for um, maybe um, the trauma the, 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 the navel trauma from birth. Um, we're going to use a notochord also for, um, you know, with the pineal hypothalamus. But at some point, we're going to work with the veins. And the veins are very, very important. I worked for many years with the vein, and it is very deep. You know, you have 65% of your blood in the veins. It's a large reservoir, capacitance, sometimes we call it, but it's a reservoir for presence, very deep calm, very deep um, a profound presence. So we're going to work with different veins like that with the notochord. For example, the facial vein, meeting yourself there, the uh, superficial temporal veins, the uh, intraforaminal vertebral vein, the jugular vein. You have internal jugular, external jugular, and anterior jugular vein. The vein of the upper extremity. You have the deeper vein, subaxillary, uh, subclavian, axillary, brachial, ulnar, radial, the superficial vein, cephalic, basilic. Same with the legs, we have the deeper vein, femoral veil, popliteal vein, anterior and posterior tibial vein, and the superficial, the great and the, uh, the small saphenous vein. We're going to work with renal vein, um, inferior vena cava, and portal vein, receiving the food, also the toxins, the trauma, and the emotion there we're going to free. So that's going to be very, very, very deep. Your patients are going to love the space into which they enter into the depths of themselves. I work with people that are, you know, um, ha, you know depressive or they have depression or they have to. Um, you have uh, uh, someone that died in the family, all kind of deep state, the vein are going to really help. And after that, we're going to work with a new system, reciprocal axis and lines. So I make you feel some 
this reciprocal movement in suture and bones. Some bones don't have this reciprocal movement. Some part of the skin with reciprocal movement. Some don't have this reciprocal movement. And then we're gonna use that for the muscles first. And it is something that finally I work on muscles. I know you love muscles, but for me it's very low in the hierarchy of the dominant lesions. So sometimes the bony framework is out and the and the muscle spasm if you want, but it, it's not the cause of it. We have to put back the bony framework, find why the bony framework is out, why it's out because of ligaments, tendons, viscera, the central nervous system, the brain, the spinal cord, the nerve. So when it's time to work with the muscles, then we're going to use this technique that is very fast to release uh, those muscles and we're going to work with muscle related to stress, sternocleidomastoid, levator scapulae, trapezius, um, orbicularis oculi, tempora temporalis uh, masseter, uh, the scalene, the four scalene with the scalene minimus, you know that 30 to 70 percent of the population have this four scalene, the pectoris minor, um, Quadrostomborum, the hamstring, bicep femoris, semitalinosus, submembranosus, etc. So this is going to really help you when you work with muscles. Then one of my favorite things is to work with the endocrine, the thyroid. We have the thyroid vein, by the way, also we're going to work with. But we're going to work on also the thymus. Thymus, very important gland. It's an immune gland, endocrine gland that works on uh, the lymphocyte T with thymosine, but it is very, very deep to work on the thymus. Even if there's involution in adults, it helps me in many, many cases. Very difficult case in adults or, or children when I don't know what to do, the person is very, uh, a lot of dysfunction, nothing works. The working with the thymus with this is really, really helpful. And we're going to work with, again, the brain hemisphere, hypothalamus. So there's a lot in that program, and you can see there's a lot of deep experiential labs with a lot of new techniques, and that's why it's a very, very um, deep class for me. So I hope I'll see you there.